Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new to my channel, hey, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing. It's actually a sneak peek for one of Diamond Art Club's new releases this weekend. So a huge thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with you all ahead of the weekend. I hope that this video helps you in making a decision on if the, this kit should be on your shopping list for the weekend. Now, this kit along with the other new releases this weekend are gonna be released tomorrow, which is Saturday, June 25th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, which is 12.30 p.m. Eastern. That's the general release time. Now, if you're in the dupe ruby or diamond level of the rewards program, you will actually get a half an hour early access window beginning at 9 a.m. Pacific time or noon Eastern. So the kit that I have to share with you all today is, it's a box. Look how cute he is. Now, you guys, normally I don't necessarily gravitate towards the really hyper realistic images like this, but while many of you probably know that I adore dragons, you may not necessarily know that I actually adore foxes just about as much. And so I couldn't resist this one. I really am super intrigued to see what this looks like as a diamond painting. And look at how cute he is. I just couldn't resist. So the artist for this one is Richard Clifton. I was taking a look on the Diamond Art Club website, and I think that he may be a new artist to us this week. So if he is, super warm welcome to Richard. And I can't wait to see what else we're gonna be getting from him. So this is gonna have square diamonds and it's gonna be 20 by 25 inches or 51 by 64 centimeters. All the blue branding on the box here is what Diamond Art Club uses with their square drill diamond painting kits. On the back is info about how diamond painting works, the kit contents you'll get in here, and then if you flip it to this side, this QR code will take you to a discount code for 10% off of your order. So Diamond Art Club, as a rule, doesn't want you to pay full price for your diamond paintings from them. So you will see lots of different discount codes in this video alone. <laughs> and there's more if you uh, join the VIP group once you have made your first purchase and whatnot. Um, they often send some out by email or as app notifications. They have an app as well. And if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club, oops, and looking at making your very first purchase, I do have a discount code that is for first time buyers of Diamond Art Club. It's just my name, Katie20, K-A-T-I-E 20. And that saves you 20% off your first purchase. Now, please don't feel obligated to use it because Yes, I may make a small commission, just in the interest of full disclosure, that goes right back into my channel. Um, but don't feel obligated whatsoever. Like I said, you're gonna see lots of discount codes today. The only thing I ask is that you don't pay full price for your order because Diamond Art Club really doesn't want you to. <laughs> so anyway, that's there. I'll have the info below if you're curious. Now here we have, as I'm tossing things around, <laughs> here we have a toolkit. There are a couple of versions of the toolkit floating around in Diamond Art Club's kits right now. This is one of the newer ones. It's the kind they're transitioning to. Uh, but either way, whichever one you get, it's gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting. So for example, this one came with a, it comes with a pen and squishy. The color may vary. Square drill diamond painting kits are gonna come with a pair of tweezers that are pointy, so keep that cover on. You're gonna get wax in this cute little heart caddy. Now there is also a thin plastic film on that wax, so be sure to take that off before you try to fill up your pen. <laughs> and then you're also going to get a tray with a stopper. It just pops in the end and helps the diamonds not fall out, but just gently pop it in because you don't want to snap your tray, <laughs> like the gold sparkles too. You're also going to get a couple of these thin plastic multi-placers if you want to place more than one diamond at a time. And then a bag of baggies that you can kit up into or store your leftover diamonds in if you wanna save those. And then these last two bits, these are a bit of the wild card. These are mostly just with the newer toolkits. This is a roll of washi tape, and this is what we call a cover minder. A cover minder has magnets on the back, and you can pop the one magnet off, slide it under the area of the diamond painting that you're working on, and then you know put the diamond painting back down, peel back the plastic cover of that area, Set this on top and it's gonna hold back the plastic cover for you. That's really pretty. <laughs> the washi tape, 
Uh, I use this to cover up the border of my diamond painting, just to prevent any dust or dirt from getting in the glue that might go past the edge of the drill field. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvases uh, by placing it on the top of the plastic cover. It just gives me smaller sections to work on. It feels more manageable. If you're curious about that process, I have a whole video dedicated to it that I'll link in the description box below. Now, if you do get the new toolkit and you get the minder and the washi tape, the print and style may vary. So it'll be a nice little surprise. <laughs> Let me shift this to the side. Also included is this little sticker. I like to use this in my paper logbook. Some people will put it on the side of the box to help sort through their stash. I like that it has the original artwork and the title and the artist and then all the other info about the painting as well. So let's get into the rest of the kit contents. I'm so, 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 so curious to see what this canvas looks like. <laughs> how it's rendered and everything. So, oh my gosh, yes, super soft Diamond Art Club canvases. We have to pet it first because it's so velvety soft. Look at those greens. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love him. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so let you ooh and ah, ah over him for a moment. We have the bag of diamonds right here, package of drills. We'll look at those here in just a bit. Look at all these rich greens. Oh, that is so, 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 so pretty. So included in here, we do have a pamphlet. There's a thank you note from the founder on the front. Some info about what's included in your kit. A QR code that takes you to a video with step-by-step -step video instructions for beginners. A QR code that takes you to the Facebook group, the VIP Facebook group. I love this community. It's a really helpful resource and fun group of people. Step-by-step -step instructions written out for you here. Some tips and tricks on the back. Yet another discount code. And then links to the mobile app on your respective device. You get 20% off your first order through the app as well. Here we've got a sticker sheet. It's got the title, the artist, a spot to write your start and end date, that adorable original artwork. I mean, look at that, it's so cute. Uh, and then of course the diamond shape is gonna be square, the size, and then over here we have a set of pre-cut stickers. So uh, this set of colors here, the color code is the same as the DMC color code that's used in a lot of cross stitch and floss. In Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. I'll tell you more about those in just a bit when we're actually looking at the diamonds, but it does look like we're gonna have three in here. These being pre-cut for you makes it really fast and simple to kit up into storage containers or into those baggies. Uh, taking a look though, we're gonna have 41 colors, tons and tons of greens, every shade of green under the sun. Now, most of these symbols do look pretty distinct from one another. I'm not seeing any that I think we're gonna mix up, but um, always hurts, doesn't hurt to uh, take a second look. So let me take you on a little tour of the canvas, the different elements that you're going to see. So up here at the top, we have Do What Makes You Sparkle Diamond Art Club, <laughs> the edges of the canvas. They are scalloped and finished. You are not gonna have to worry about any fraying. I've never had problems with fraying on my Diamond Art Club canvases. The canvas material itself, like I said, is really soft on the back and is very sturdy. It's kind of like a luxurious feeling material. It's sturdy and malleable. It has self-flattening features, so you can see the canvas was already laying flat on its own without me having to roll it backwards. Between the plushness of the fabric and the really squishy and nice texture and stickiness of the glue, this is a poured glue with a little bit of sparkle to it, um, that makes diamond painting on a Diamond Art Club canvas just very enjoyable and relaxing. Up here at the top left, we do have a legend or a color list, and we have that same legend or key code down here at the bottom right. Down here at the bottom left, you're gonna see a thumbnail of that original artwork and all the information about the licensing, which I will always point out because um, Diamond Art Club has legally licensed this image from the artist, it looks like through this licensing group. That means that Diamond Art Club both has the permission of the artist and is fairly compensating the artist for the use of their artwork. Since art theft really is very common in the crafting world, I really like to point out when companies like Diamond Art Club are doing right by 
artists. Here at the bottom, we've got their social media pages. Be sure to follow them there for previews of new releases each week. Yet another discount code. <laughs> Here at the bottom right is info about their lifetime warranty. If you are uh, the original owner and purchaser, you're covered under that warranty. And if you ever run into any issues with um, anything from running out of diamonds to problems with the canvas or the glue, you're covered under that warranty. Just contact Diamond Art Club's customer service. They'll get you taken care of. <laughs> Let's take a look at the drill field just to see what we think of the symbol clarity. Ooh, holy confetti Batman. <laughs> uh, lots and lots of confetti. Confetti is when we have lots of color changes in a small area. It's very typical for landscape or really hyper-realistic images. Like this almost looks like a photograph. Uh, for those to have lots of confetti, I mean this is grass and fields, so that completely makes sense. You'll be using your single placer a lot of the time in here. It may take you a little bit longer, but you're, the, the plus side is that you're gonna get lots of lovely detail. Look at the lovely rich oranges and browns in the fox's tail. But truly, how many shades of green do we think are in there? Oh, that looks amazing. We have our cute little fox face up here. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> a little bit of color blocking over here once we've gotten out of the weeds. That's really funny, metaphorically and literally. So color blocking is sections like in here. We've got all the symbol K right in here. So you'll be able to use your multi-placer in those areas and that'll go a little bit faster. And then, yeah, up at the top, we have a little bit of color blocking throughout. But look at the box. Look at the box. <laughs> He's so darn cute. Can't get over it. All right, let me grab my measuring tape. We're going to do a quick measurement to see if we are true to size. Usually we are with Diamond Art Club's canvases, but I like to double check. <laughs> so flip to centimeters here. We are at, lay flat, please. Uh, tick shy of 64 centimeters and then 51 centimeters on the nose so that is true to size that is about what it's listed as so yay happy to see that now let's go ahead and take a look at these diamonds together oh my gosh he's so cute i can't get over it can't get over it now the bag of diamonds does have the uh like the serial number and the name of the kit on it so if you store them separately from each other you can match it up easily later so lots of beautiful rich earthy tones in here i think that that is a really lovely color palette let's take a look I actually really love the size on this kit a lot because it's not huge. I think it's going to be a bit more beginner or intermediate friendly. And if you just want to have maybe not all huge kits in your stash, then, then this is a good option. I really like the variety and sizes from Diamond Art Club, especially because I have a lot of large kits in my stash. Sorry, I'm just showing you the colors and not reading them. 400. One, two, three, four bags of 936, really rich forest green. 300, three bags of 732, kind of an olive green. A bag of 301, and then two bags of 934, kind of a deep grayish brown, and then 938. Now, these are Diamond Art Club's newer square diamonds. They're, they did start manufacturing their diamonds in house last year and both round and square. It's definitely easier to tell the difference with the new square drills because the new square drills all have 13 facets cut on the top. The old ones, you'll see a mix of nine and 13 facets cut on the top. These new ones, they're super sparkly <laughs> with all those extra facets. So I love Diamond Art Club's new squares. Last strand here, and here this first color that we have in here is our first AB in this kit, so 108. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these get their name from the Northern Lights. So just like the Northern Lights have a shimmery effect, these diamonds have a really shimmery iridescent coating on the top that gives them even more sparkle than regular diamonds have. You can kind of see it there. And the areas of these have been charted. It's gonna highlight those areas and draw your eye to those areas. Um, and can pick up some of the colors of the diamonds around them even, but these are really special diamonds to add to a painting. And I'll be sure to point out to you where those are gonna go. Along with our two other ABs we should see in this last strand here. Lots of earth tones. 
Speaking of earth tones, our second AB is 112. It's kind of a taupe AB. Ooh, love the sparkle in those so much. So pretty. Lots of browns. Yeah, every shade of brown and green in the DMC, I feel like. So, 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 so rich and pretty. All right, and here's our third and last AB. 141, just a little handful of these white ABs with that really beautiful iridescent coating on the top. A tiny, tiny bag of 310, including a little straggler purple drill, <laughs> and a tiny bag of navy blue. All right, let's look together and find those ABs. So we had the green AB, the taupe AB, and the white AB. Starting at the bottom, it's a little tricky probably to pick out from uh, the camera distance, but there are these little lines of this. To you, they probably look like kind of a lime green. It's kind of the brightest green that you'll be seeing. Yeah, I'm looking at the camera. This bright green right here, here and here. That is a green AB. There's a little bit of it here. Um. Ooh, no, you guys, I just misled you. That is not an AB. Strike that and reverse that, please. I saw the number four and I made assumptions. And we know what happens when you assume. Don't assume like I did, friends. <laughs> okay. I let's 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 reset. I have not say I've not shown you where any ABs are. The green AB, instead, there's a tiny, tiny bit of it right here, a tiny bit of it right here, maybe a dozen there a tiny bit of it over here it's just gonna do some really subtle highlighting maybe like thinking of sort of the sun glinting off of a couple of pieces of kind of this grass and fields going on there's a bit of it over here it is the lighter green lines that you're seeing right here and then do we have any we do okay so a little bit of the taupe ab going along the top of this branch just a little bit then a little bit more over here a little bit right here a little bit of our green ab right here it's really sparing but you know what you guys when we are looking at um a painting like this one that is of an animal it's of a landscape in a way uh, that often looks best with a really light hand as far as ABs go so I'm totally on board with what I'm seeing so far uh, over here at the top of this branch that the fox is sitting on we have a little bit of the taupe AB uh, a couple of highlighting lines of it and then hopping over here Let's see, I wanna make sure I don't overlook it. Okay. So we actually have some of the white AB going along the very top of the log right here. Kind of a fallen tree, isn't it? And then the green AB, the lightest lines that you're seeing here and here and here and along here. Those are green AB. I love that we have some of the white AB in the box. <laughs> a little bit of the white AB right here, here and here. I do really like that because that really is imagining again, like where is the light kind of reflecting off of our fox friend? Uh, is that, no it is not. Okay, I wanted to make sure before I said wrong, but in the fox's little snoot here and this muzzle actually down here, some of the taupe AB doing a really light outlining right here and highlighting right here. A single solitary white AB in the fox's eye. Some white AB on the outside of his ears. A little bit right here of the white AB. And then some of the taupe AB highlighting around the fox's ears and a little bit on the inside of his ears as well. I love it. I actually really, really love that. <laughs> I think that that's going to be so, 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 so nice. So really the, the AB charting I think was done really nicely because again, I think less is more when we're talking about artwork like this. That's my unprofessional opinion. Okay. You're welcome to disagree, but I love that there's just a bit of green AB just to give a little bit of extra sparkle, just really lightly here and there, like throughout the bottom. We have a little bit of the top AB like in the brightest parts of the log and then a tiny bit of the white AB here at the top of the log and then in the fox 
giving the fox, like this subject of our painting, a little bit of extra sparkle, kind of areas that it makes sense to draw your eye to, the white and the taupe ABs in here and in the ears as well. So I am all about it. You guys, this looks like such a cute little painting to do. I am so curious to see how this translates to a diamond painting. And I love stepping a bit out of my comfort zone and out of my usual go-to and being like, yeah, let's totally check out, like, this is just, this is a fox. <laughs> I adore foxes. My oldest whole nursery theme was done in foxes when he was a baby. And so I will always have a soft spot for foxes in my heart. And I love that we're seeing a huge variety of artwork from Diamond Art Club recently as well. So again, the name of this piece was simply Fox. It's from the artist Richard Clifton, who I believe is a new to the DMC, DAC family <laughs> artist. So a warm welcome to Richard. You guys, this kit will be releasing tomorrow, which is Saturday, June 25th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time or 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. That's the general release time. And just as a reminder, if you're in that Ruby or Diamond tier of the rewards program, you're going to get a half an hour early access window. We don't know yet which kits are going to be limited edition before they're released. So I do recommend setting your alarms if there are any kits that you are on the fence about or think that you want. Just because if something is listed as limited edition, that means that Diamond Art Club is not planning to restock it once it does sell out. So I recommend jumping on any of those. Anyway, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with all of you ahead of the weekend. I hope this video was helpful in helping you decide if you want to be shopping for this one this weekend. I say that if you are a fellow Fox fan, say that five times fast, just like me, then go for it because this little guy looks so cute. I love that the size is very manageable. The rendering looks so lovely. I have to give it like my wholehearted endorsement. So anyway, my friends, I hope you have an amazing weekend. Best of luck if you're shopping and thanks again for watching. If you want to see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to subscribe. I love to have you. And otherwise, I hope you have an amazing weekend. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.